Hey folks, Quilly Team here, and welcome to Let's Try Shadow Hand. Shadow Hand is just, it's totally just a solitaire game. Um, Grandma, you can play this. It's e you like to play solitaire, right? You know, you've got a card here, and you just gotta put a card on top of that that's either one higher or one lower. So I've got a four showing, I can put down a five, and then I can put down a six, and then I can put down another five. Hey, that's great, it's just solitaire. Easy peasy. Pay no attention to the fact that when you mouse over this guy, you've got a whole bunch of stats listed, or, you know, myself, or that, you know, there's a uh, system where you can get loot and equipment. Like, for example, I've got a couple of guns equipped over here, plus a jaunty hat um, equipped. No, that's nothing. Uh, this heart and this armor. No, 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 it's nothing. Uh, you can, it's just solitaire. You can totally play this. Shadow Hand, very much like its uh, predecessor, Regency Solitaire, are super gateway drugs for gaming. Um, it is just a solitaire game, and it does have, you know, just the normal solitaire mechanics, but it has this larger metagame about it that gives you a ton of different abilities and equipments um, to shake up the gameplay, as well as an excellent story that's beautifully illustrated, um, including all the camp combat animations over here. Not every game in um, Shadow Hand is combat here, uh, but I wanted to start off with some combat just to show some of the more dramatic action over here. Um, at $15, it's surprisingly inexpensive um, for a game um, I think that, that so much love has been put in here. I realize the core gameplay is just solitaire, but the execution is just wonderfully, wonderfully done. In a duel like what I'm doing here, every card that you expose charges one of your weapons, which again, you can equip and tune to different things. I've got a couple of guns here, which actually turns out, these are both pistols, you can tell by the background, turns out to be not great against this foot soldier because he actually has a 25% chance to deflect pistol and musket shots. Uh, I do have a uh, dagger in my inventory, and if I had brought that, he wouldn't be able to deflect that, but the dagger does slightly less damage. However, it doesn't take as long to charge. The blunderbuss you can see at the bottom of the card, it takes six six points charge. You get a charge point every time you clear a, a card off the board. You also have special abilities like Shadow Hand here, which shuffles everything in the play field, or Charging Stallion, which removes two cards from the play field. Um, and they charge up with every card you clear off as well. So here, uh, my two can't combo with anything else on the board, so I'm done. I could just end turn, but I can also end turn by discharging one of my weapons here and hitting the foot soldier. He has a point of armor, so he took one point less damage, but at least he didn't deflect. I have a point of armor, so I took one less damage from the soldier sword as well. My pistol is still charged, uh, which is good because I actually can't do anything with this one, so I will just fire off the pistol. That's the way to end your turn. He can't do anything with his nine. I can't do anything with my zero. Oh, he got a six. He's going to have a good little run there. A really good run. And he's going to go in and uh, stab me again. If you get six cards or more cleared off in one go, you start a combo as well. And combos in a duel does bonus damage. But again, there's non-duel modes, which I'll show you uh, just after this. I got a four, so I'll pop the three. Hopefully it'll reveal something useful. And it did not, so that's the end of my run. I fully expect to make a mistake at some point over here. We'll see. We both have a potion as well, uh, which is gonna regenerate 25% of our max health. My max health is currently 24, so that'll be six hit points. If Don't, don't math on live TV, but I think that's right. Um, and turn, and turn. Yeah, there is, you have an undo button here with one charge. So if you do find yourself making a mistake, you can rewind one time. Also, if you have to end turn while you've got a playable card there, it will shake it um, as kind of a note of like, hey, you missed something, so that'll be a good incentive to maybe undo. So the eight goes to the nine, and that's that. He got a two, so he's gonna be able to combo a little bit. On normal difficulty, and there's a hard difficulty, on normal difficulty, they do occasionally miss a card, um, and I think their stats are lower. We've got a one over here, which actually works out quite well, because I can go to the zero, and then I can go to the nine. The zero is both, say, a zero and a 10. So that, that just goes from zero to nine, the cards over here, and I don't believe the suits matter in any way. However, every time you clear a card with nothing underneath it, you do get a bit of gold um, banked up. My nine can't go anywhere, so I'll fire off my pistol. His 25% chance to deflect fired. He also went and just used uh, his potion to heal up. I believe that was his turn as well. Uh, since I can't do anything over here, I think I will just take this opportunity to drink my own potion as well. If we run out of cards on the board or run out of cards in the stock card pile over here, we will get a brand new fresh board and a brand new set of stock cards. So if we get sort of stalemated here, oh, I'll clear off the last one, get a charge, we'll get a reshuffle, and I'll be able to continue 
or I would be able to if I had a three or a four visible, which I don't. He got an eight, which is gonna get him a couple of charges. Um, I guess with the five, I'll just clear off the six. And I can't do anything else, but I can fire my blunderbuss, which triggers, blunderbuss does have a 20% chance to stun him. You may have noticed right there, maybe rewind if you can, that there was a little note that said finesse. I have, uh, you can't see it on this board over here, but when I get outside, I'll take a look at my sort of character sheet. I have invested points in the finesse stat, which gives me a small chance that when I draw a card off the stockpile, it will guarantee that the card is useful. So the finesse just triggered there. I think I've only got like a 4% chance right now, but I can get it better. So this two is actually useful because I can use it to grab the three and then the two, which, you know, is only so much, but it guarantees I can do something. May as well fire off a pistol. Bring him down a little bit more, but I'm still not doing well, especially with another slash over there. The eight's good though, because I can clear the nine, um, the zero, the one. I guess I'll do the two because it'll reveal two cards, uh, which luckily we get a three over here. That's the end of that run. That's great. Come on, get stunned. Ah! At least you didn't deflect it. And you had a nothing turn. I also have a nothing turn, but I can fire off the pistol. Okay, we've got a slight life advantage, and he has no charges on his sword right now, which is great. The three does nothing for me. We got a four, which doesn't do much for him. The nine, eight, seven, six, seven. I guess I could have done the five, but no, this is better because it clears more. It does end the run, but I can shoot. Oh, he deflected. He's going to have a good run here, a really good run. Bring me down to five. I'm one turn, one move away from dying here. And the nine does nothing for me. Poop. Oh, he's gonna have a big run. A really big run. Oh, no! That's fine. We'll just, uh, we'll just retry this. It's gonna be A-OK. -okay. Now, I do have a goal here. If I can kill him in under 20 turns, that'll be a three-star or, you know, gold result. If I kill him in 25 turns left, that'll be silver. If I kill him, I get with one-star bronze. Um, I guess I can check. Oh, hold on. Can I tune the equipment before this? Uh, restart this hand. So I can mouse over him first, see that the pistol and musket is bad. Oh, I didn't realize I could do that. So here's my character. I can take a look at my character sheet. You can see I've invested two points into finesse. 4% chance of cheating and drawing better stock cards. You've got willpower over here, so your abilities charge faster. Insight, so you have more cards face up on your turn. Uh, Guile, which lets you find more jokers and spare cards. We haven't actually seen that yet, but they're very cool. Prosperity, gives you more gold under cards. Slight chance of doing it. Um, and luck, remove an extra playable card from time to time. Um, what I'm going to do is I'll keep the blunderbuss. It's slow charging, has that stun chance. I'll get rid of this pistol over here, and I'm going to replace it with the rogue's knife. Rogue's knife only does four damage as a base, although it does have a 20% chance of piercing defense, so ignoring defense. So this knife will do three damage most of the time against this opponent, but a lot of times it'll do four. It only needs three charges to go, so I can use it fairly reliably in my outfit. So I've got my, my jaunty tricorn over here, and I can remove this if I wanted to. And, like... It actually, like, removes it, the art on your character. The, the art in this game is great, but yeah, the tricorn gives me armor, so that's good. Uh, the black domino mask gives me plus five stealth, increases the chance to start first in duels. That sounds good. And the bandit kerchief is just a basic disguise for, you know, because it looks cool. No shopping yet in the game. There's no microtransactions, just you accrue gold, I mean, and... and and then you buy stuff in-game. Lots of inventory slots, as you can see. Extra gear slots here, like for example, my healing elixir. We've got abilities here, active abilities, passive abilities. There's so much in this game. Special training, I don't even know what that is yet. There's my stealth rating, I guess, to the chance of going first. Okay, so we got our dagger, so we can use that more reliably to um, avoid being stunned. Ooh. That's good. The other thing you can do is you can accept a lore victory here, go to the next chapter, get more loot cards. So, uh, we got a three, so I guess we go to a two, and, um, that's that. You got a better turn than me. We got a uh, three, and we're gonna have to hope that we reveal something useful, and we did not. So that's the turn. Okay, at least he didn't do anything. Um, I guess we just take the zero. And then we can stab him! So we only need three cards to stab. Doesn't do very much damage. Um, especially with the armor, but when it does pierce, it's gonna be even better. We got a seven, which we can't do anything with. He got a three, which is gonna be fairly good for him. I don't think the AI cheats. I think it's just like working out that way. Oh my God, a sick turn. And nine, and that's the end of my turn. 
Oh my god. What the? Come on! Come on, game! You gotta- you, I, I've gotta win so I can be all badass and cool, because I'm already gonna get yelled at for missing some obvious move at some point, but... Oh my god. Seriously? What? Come on! What the hell? So he's got a big combo, he's gonna do 40% bonus damage because of that combo. Son of a... Alright, we'll go 8, 9, 8. And yeah, the weapons are charged, but I want to cruise much gold and maybe get a combo as possible here. Um, I'm gonna go with the blunderbuss. If I can get a stun on him, that would be very handy. Alright, I didn't get the stun. Uh, we did clear that, which is good. Ooh, got a joker. Can we get to it? Yes, we can. Seven, six, get the joker. So the joker I can put on top of my stack anytime I want, and it allows me to continue my, my hand with anything. Seven, eight, nine, zero, one, two. All right, that's the end of that, but 50% bonus damage. Now, there's a 25% chance that he will just deflect my pistol, which includes this blunderbuss. So while the 50% bonus damage will do effectively one extra bonus damage with this one, because he's getting plus three instead of plus two, because of that chance to just avoid it completely, I'm just gonna go with the knife here, which didn't get a pierce, but that's okay. Normally, I would always be using my higher charge uh, weapon, but um, looks like that's the end of my turn, unless I want to use my Joker, but I've got a shot right now, so I may as well just go ahead and end my turn with something useful and save the Joker for a turn I don't get a good ending. I'm down to two. I'm going to have to use my potion here. Um, nine, zero, one, two. Well, he, he can't, he can't, well, unless he clears four cards. Is there a possibility of clearing four cards on the board? Two, one, zero. All right, I'll use the blunderbuss this time. Maybe I can get a stun off. Or I could use the joker. You know what? The joker would be a good time right now. Joker, seven, eight, seven. All right, let's risk it here. Didn't deflect, we didn't get the stun, but he's not in a situation where he could combo forever, which is good. Um, there's a possibility they could clear both of these, reset the board, and actually finish me off with this. So, I'm gonna have to Elixir. Which does end my turn. But that's not so bad. Alright, now I'm gonna Knight. Okay, we're at even health. I can't do anything there. He was able to do that. Is he gonna be able to keep going? Yes, he can, because of course he can. And he got himself a spare card. Yeah. Well. And he's gonna slash at me. <sighs> Five or six, seven, eight, nine, zero. I'm gonna use my shadow hand to shuffle and hope I get a nine or a one. There's a nine. That is the end of it. I'm gonna go for the blunderbuss and hope to get the stun. No stun, but no deflection either. Okay, he hasn't killed me. And actually, I can kill him guaranteed. Now, I may as well go for a little bit of extra money. Um, four, three, two. I guess that's that. In hindsight, maybe I could have gotten more, but that's okay. Oh, that was a tight, tight game. Oh, and we did it in under 20 turns, so we got our three-star victory. Excellent. We'll get some loot over here. Uh, what was the Joker card for? Is it just going to be a Joker card I can play whenever I want? That would be awesome. 30 bonus gold. I got the Soldier Sword over here. So it's got the sword icon. Four, it only takes four to charge for six damage. My Blunderbuss is six damage and six to charge, although it does have the stun chance, which is nice, but... Well fought. Can I offer you a new ability or enhance your disguise before you go? This hand amulet will surely prove useful. Oh, I can shop here. So I got tons of gold, actually. One fewer card needed to start a combo. That actually is nice. With a crystal ball, reveal all face-down cards for a moment. Hmm. Well, we may as well get this, because it's a nice passive ability. Do I want to invest in the crystal ball? I think I might want to save my gold, to be honest. I mean, it is handy to be able to see everything temporarily, but we'll hold off. Character went up. Um, I'm actually wondering if I want to get the faster charge ability because let's do that for a few of my things for now. Uh, we got a new outfit. Oh, we got quite a few. Oh, in the shop. 
Uh, so this would be a different mask. He's more guile. Now guile is the thing gives me more jokers and spare cards. But I like to stealth the guarantee I go first. Um, oh, I can improve my my kerchief over here because this one doesn't do anything. This one would give me plus one lock. So yeah. Whoops. I didn't actually. I was double clicking to equip it. Uh, but that was dumb of me. I don't have a fancy bodice yet. 20% chance to resist bleeding. Sounds good to me. And it's got an extra point of armor, so I've got two armor now. So I accidentally went and bought the bandit's kerchief. Or rather, the uh, the domino mask. Oh well. Uh, no weapons for sale, but we do have the new soldier sword. So yeah, I guess the thing with the... Um, the melee weapons is they tend to charge quite quickly. This is a ranged weapon. So which I bet you there's something later that, that has some difference depending on if it's ranged or not. You know what? I'm tempted to still run the blunderbuss. There's something that charges on four, something on six, both base six damage, which means armor is less of an issue, although this one does have the pierce, but it's only 20% chance. That's the stun chance. Okay, we'll go with that. Now, that's only going to matter in the next duel. Now, I'm going to show you one of the normal games. So, each chapter tends to have a few things. We've got, we've got story. I'm going to go ahead and just skip it, because it's not necessarily going to be relevant to you guys here. Chapter goals, find a grog bomb, collect seven stars, defeat the chapter boss. So that's what I have to do to proceed. You can collect seven stars in any way we want. We've actually got five steps here in this particular chapter, so there's going to be lots of opportunity to collect stars. And so this layout over here, um, every, every step of every chapter has a unique layout. Um, the locks here, you can only remove if you find a key somewhere in these cards. The lock and the key positions are fixed. But everything else gets shuffled, including your little stock over here and whatnot. And yeah, we do start with the Freak Joker card. That's really good. We actually have both of our abilities fully charged. I don't know if it starts fully charged at the start of every chapter. I don't think it does. We must have charged it during the last battle. I got a 7 showing, which literally does nothing for me. I think I'm going to use a Shadow Hand. The interesting thing about this, it will actually reveal to us where the keys are. Oh, I guess that one's already face up. Uh, because keys don't move, and if we'd paid attention, we might have been able to notice another one. Can I do anything with my 7 now? No, I can't. So, let's just look at the at random. I suppose I could have also played the Joker, but there we go. 7, 9, use the key to reveal one of these bad boys. I don't know. You over there. 0, 1, 2. So, we got combo, which will give us an extra gold multiplier here at the end of the thing, which is nice. Um... I could just end, but let's keep going with our combo as much as possible. We'll play the 7, the 8, I was hoping for a 6 somewhere along the way. So we don't have a 6 or another 8, so we will end it here. But we've got 7 combo, so we get a gold multiplier for later, which is at least nice. Uh, 5, 3, 4, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Unlock the key. I had a 7, I can't do anything with it, but I get more combo charged up, which is nice. Got a 0, so I'm going to reveal this 9. And another 0, so we get this Grog Bomb. You can throw this Grog Bomb in duels. Try the next enemy. Excellent, sounds fun. 9, and that's the end of that. Another 9, that's not helpful. The 6 is not helpful. The 1 is good. Um, let's do this, because we'll, we'll keep unlocking more cards this way. Oops, I made a mistake. So I'll use my one undo there. I've got a five, so I can go five. I got lucky. Oh, the lucky trait gives you a chance to just blow up a random card. Oh, that is kind of nice, actually. And presumably counted as a card for a charge. I need a one or four or two or three. That worked out okay. Finessed, which guarantees that I had a helpful card there. Uh, so I need a 7 or a 9 to come up. There we go. Cleared the board. I, it, when you're on a normal non-dual thing, if you clear the board, it's a 3-star thing. If you run out of stock cards, it also advances the chapter, but you'll get fewer or no stars. I think you're always guaranteed one anyway. Uh, so we need more stars to go. We'll do the next one. If you got less than perfect, you can retry. And you can always replay these things. So again, there's more story here, which I'm just going to skip for the sake of the video. What is this? I think it'll explain when we start. Suit lock. To unlock this suit lock, play gem suit cards. Oh! 
So now suits actually matters. So cards that have a gem on it will help to unlock this. Well, it turns out that I've got the two here. So we'll go three. That did bring it down. And then the two. And that's the end of that. I have no abilities. So let's go to the next one. Eight. Um, seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Four. There's no five. There's no other three. Although we will use the shadow hand here. You can see there's a fixed card there. That's clearly where the key is. Um, three, two, um, I don't think it really matters which way I go. Either way, I'm going to kind of want a two. Well, if I do this, then, uh, zero or a two will help keep the combo going. Whereas here, oh, there we go, two. I will reveal the three to reveal more cards here. So that does end it. We don't have the charging stallion. I don't have a 4 or a 2 visible, so that's the end of my combo, but it's a 12-point combo. Huge gold multiplier accrued there, which is nice. The 5 does nothing for me. That is a 9, not a 6, so 0, and that was a gem. Pop that, and you still need one more card to charge up, although it definitely went down. It went from 50 to 47 because of my stat. 2 does nothing. 9 does the 8. Followed by the 9. We'll go ahead and use the charging stallion. That's fine. Which unlocks that. We pick up a spare 2. So I can put this here whenever I want. The 9 and the 2 does nothing. So we'll just go to the next card. 8. The 9 helps us not. But if I play the spare, I can play the 1. Use the key to unlock that. We're now stuck. But the 6 lets me play the 5 into the 6. Into nothing. The 0 lets me play the 9 into the 8 or the 0. I don't know, the 8. Because it might have brought us to more to a bigger combo, but no. The 0, that's that. 7, 6, 5, 4, 8, 9, 0. Done and done. Three star finish. See how satisfying... Like, Solitaire is always a pretty satisfying game, but now there's like... A bigger purpose to it. I love these special abilities. The duels are challenging. Again, the story is great. I'm gonna go back and read these stories later on. But you know, since you weren't there, let's start. Oh, we get a mid uh, a duel partway through here. Oh, it's not just an end boss. We got a Cornish smuggler over here. Fifty percent chance to resist alcohol. So the grog bomb's not gonna be that useful, presumably. Ah, uh, I don't think that's alcohol. That's because it's just a bomb. I don't see an alcohol symbol. I just see a bomb symbol, but it's grog. Search, scorch opponent with five unblockable fire damage plus attack bonus. All right. Jewel. They started, so we lost the stealth roll, however that mechanic works. We're going to have to uh, unlock some uh, sword cards to unlock that. Does my seven do anything? No. The eight's locked. All right, let's throw this Brock on. That's because I didn't have anything else to do this turn. Oh my god, what the hell is that? Giant combo right away. I guess we're just going to pop the zero and then end our turn. Alright. See? They just made a mistake because they could have done the five, but on normal they uh, they do make mistakes. Um, I guess going five, six, seven, eight, nine... Eight, seven, six. No thing else playable. We've got huge combos. Uh, they both do the same damage. This has got the larger recharge, recharge time, so I'll start with you. We might get the stun as well. We did not. The eight doesn't do anything for me, so I'll just slash. They got two points of armor, though. Although, so do I, I suppose. Uh, you just healed up, I see. Um, three, four, five... That's the end of that, but it ain't bad. Seven. Okay, the end of that, but at least I can slice you for only four, but it'll do. You're gonna heal up some more. Four. Three. Two. No stun. What's the up? Up dude. Bleed chance plus 100%. Increase the chance to cause bleeding by 100%. Oh! 
then your weapon charging is slowed. Chance to bleed is 125% right now. Now, I do have a resistance to bleed of 20. That's interesting. It does nothing, so I just have to end the turn. My Shadow Hand's not actually charged. See, she could have played. She had a 2. She could have gone 3, 4. Playing on hard would be a little different. <laughs> and I clearly should do that, but it's nice that it's casual friendly here. Uh, I don't think it's worth Shadow Handing here, because it's very unlikely to do anything to kill you the combo. Whereas if it gets cleared, it'll be a lot better. Boom. Oh, she resisted the alcohol debuff. Interesting. That's what it's useful for. So, the alcohol debuff, which would have increased the uh, the recharge time. So now this is going to be potentially a good time. I'll start with the zero. If we can get a one, that would be exceptional. We did not. So we have no nine, we have no one. Let's use a shuffle. There's a one. Followed by a two. Followed by a one. Oh, and another two, and a three, and a four, a five, six, seven, seven. That lucky actually backfired on me, because it got rid of the five that I would have been comboing with. Oh well, we got a 13 point combo. Beggars can't be choosers. Overkilled by six! There we go! So anyway, there's a look at Shadowhand. Um, I will point out that, that Regency Solitaire is also a really good and relatively cheap game. Uh, some of the same mechanics here, a little bit less... Um, I don't think there's like the equipables and whatnot. Ooh, I got pants! 50% chance to avoid the ill effects of alcohol. Well, that sounds lovely. <laughs> Thanks for watching, folks! What? Ooh, affection ring. Nice. An extra undo! Adds extra undo when combined with secret ring. Ooh. That's why the story is good, man. So we can equip the affection ring over here for the plus one undo. I will also put pants on. Oh man, it doesn't look as good. The riding breeches were awesome. These are puffy pirate pants, but you know, it's plus one armor, the alcohol avoidance chance, and then we have three armor for combat, so we'll do that. All right, that is it, folks. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.